So guys, you know I recently purchased this um, about a month or two ago. This is the colored Q2X Pro 7, code 2086 from Lamont. Um, digital water test kit photometer. Um, they say this is Bluetooth, waterproof. Um, and with the Bluetooth, it just means it will hook up to your water link solution apps, um, which is the same app as from the uh, Spin Touch. So which makes it great. Now, I bought this because not everybody wants to spend 7 eight nine hundred dollars on a uh, spin touch so for two hundred dollars this is what you can get and uh this is pretty much the same thing as the spin lab other than the ease of use is not so user friendly as the spin touch but this thing um i think you'll see that it is really not that hard to handle and uh you know <laughs> it's a quite a bang for its buck now, you can get one that tests for iron and copper. This one currently does not, but this one tests for cyanuric acid, calcium harness, total alkalinity, pH, bromine, free chlorine, and total chlorine. And hey, this wouldn't be a great review if we couldn't find out if this thing is truly waterproof. So here we go. This thing down a little bit let's see if it still works what you get is you get some tablets you get some uh, regents some vials you get a, a brush to clean the vials and a uh, tablet crusher and a photometer so let's check this thing out so I got to read their directions real quick here but it's a lot similar to the older generation other than I have a couple more tablets to use than regents and the directions are really easy to use it's basically step one two three four five six and so forth which is pretty easy makes it a lot easier on us when they give us some pictures and some writing so I like that so here's the vials the blue is gonna be your blink always keep that wet free and dry that's gonna be for your free chlorine and total chlorine that's gonna be for your pH for the red the green is gonna be for your total alkalinity and the purple one is gonna be for your calcium hardness gray of course cyanuric acid and this thing's pretty cool so far so I was watching some YouTube videos. I took a break. You know, they were filling up the vial one by one and then doing the test. Um, I'm a very impatient person. So all I'm doing right now is I'm filling each vial up to the five milliliter mark. And then from there, then I'll do the other procedures. Just I just think it's going to be a lot faster this way. And, uh, you know, I just I'm not going to fill up a vial each and then do a test because there's also a timer on this color cue. And if you take too long, it will shut off. There's an auto timer on this thing to auto shut off so let's go now the only vial that's different is the cyanuric acid vial and you're just going to go to the top line that's all it is so the rest are going to get filled the same way except for the cyanuric acid so i just added the regents it's uh five drops of uh, 1a and 1b for the chlorine five drops just for the ph a tablet just for the alkalinity a tablet just for the calcium hardness and also just a tablet for the cyanuric acid which this is, so far has been pretty easy now remember this is Bluetooth just like the Spin Touch and what you get is you get to use the WaterLink Solutions apps just like the Spin Touch. So like I said for $200 this is a pretty good deal. Um, once you turn it on you hold the button down for a second or two and it will say blink. And all I did is uh, insert the blink vial, hit the button and it's doing a calibration of the uh, blink vial. So once it does that it moves right on to free chlorine. You know, take the free chlorine vial, you know, invert it three times, stick it in the photometer hit the button and it will give you a free chlorine reading now after you get your free chlorine results um, what you can do if not you can skip this test this is for your total chlorine and all you're gonna do is get a uh, reagent that is called DPD3 and it just wants you to add five drops everything is five drops in this kit which is pretty damn cool like the only time you're gonna use anything other than five drops is just going to be your tablet so it's pretty, <laughs> it makes it pretty simple and uh, over time the more you use it you can remember this and you can pretty much remember this pretty easy like the back of your hand um, so we added the five drops in there the DPD3 it just wants you to invert three times um, you're gonna hit the uh, button once and it's gonna say TCL and then hit it again and then it will give you your total chlorine reading and as you can see I have no combined chlorine so hey let's keep going so I skipped the bromine all I did was leave the uh, photometer blank 
hit the button once and then it went straight to pH so you guys can see you know basically these are the steps that you have to do and um, you just hit the button once and now it's gonna do the pH reading um, pretty simple easy to use now because I used the old generation back in about 2017 I remember crushing these tabs and what I do is I use the stir part of the stick to uh, crush the tab first it's always been a lot easier for me and then what I'll do is I'll go back to the other side of the stir stick and then I'll use the tab crusher um, it's just always been a lot easier for me this way um, as you can see it's pretty fast you know a lot of guys will say crushing these tabs takes too long but if you use the other side of the stir stick to kind of like do a knife action you'll see it is a lot faster and that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to do that for the calcium harness, and then I'm going to do that for the Sineric Acid oil as well. Like I said, I didn't start crushing these tabs until it became ready for the test. Um, filled all vials up at once, did the regents, did those tests, and right now I'm just crushing tabs real quick. That way I could just go straight through my tests real fast, real easy, instead of doing one by one. Now we're going to do alkalinity and fair warning, my alkalinity is going to be low. I've been doing some tests with ORP, all kinds of different tests. Um, so we're not even going to get into the tests I've been doing lately on my pool, but my alkalinity is going to be low. And there it is. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. So once you're done with that, you know, I just hit the button. It's going to ask me for calcium hardness. taking that alkalinity vial right out you know the tabs are already crushed for me that's why I like this I think my meth is a lot better you know doing one by one to me is just ridiculous just do my method I think it'll be okay I don't think Lamont's gonna say well you let things sit too long I can't imagine me letting things sit that long to where it's gonna throw off the results so my calcium is what close to 400 so we're doing pretty good so we already did the scenaric acid test and uh, hey so far so good but we will be testing this with the uh, spin touch we will test this against the tailor kit and some handheld meters as well and whatever else I can get my hands on thank you guys for watching if you guys uh, want to know anything more comments in the comments below or direct message me as always thank you for watching <laughs>